so we want to get back to this point nice and quick. So let's apply a Boolean and cut out the blue object from the green grass or whatever your colors are. Let's just cut the road out of the, out of the terrain. How do you do it? You select the terrain, select Boolean, and then hit the pick operand. So I've got the terrain selected. Create geometry, compound objects. Boolean and pick operand B. Click on the operand B and there is your road cut out from your terrain. And it may look good from a distance. Did, were you able to do it? Well it may look good from a distance but if you zoom in really close, I'm going to switch to top view, hit T for top view and change the color so I can see this a little bit better. You will see that the cuts did not happen properly at all. This cut should actually be happening right down here. It did not happen properly. If I go to edge mode, turn on F4 for edge mode, and looking really closely, I'll see some really nasty looking cuts, which can be really problematic at some point. So anyone want to venture a guess why the cut didn't happen properly? Not enough faces, yes. Too many long, skinny faces. The cut that had to happen all around this perimeter using only four vertices to work with. The, the, the original rectangle had four vertices. With four vertices, for it to cut all the other, you know, the, all the other vertices out of it, that's a lot of, it just, it, it can't do it. So how do you do it? You simply need to make the object uh, denser with more vertices and polygons before you do the boolean. There's two ways to do it. You saw one way. Let's go back to here. You saw the one way where we just subdivided and that's fine. You can use the subdivide and you just need to make the the mesh a little bit tighter. You don't need to be you don't need to be ridiculous about it and have a huge amount of vertices. In this case something like um, something like dividing the, the, the object into 20 segments length and width would be fine. Which brings up the next point. Instead of worrying about subdividing this, you can create an entirely new object using the plane feature that has the subdivisions already built into it. Which is what I would do for any 2D site. And really even a 3D site. All I want to do is create a plane object. And the plane object is under the Create Geometry standard perimeters. It's right there on the standard perimeters. Okay, Select plane, use the shortcut S for snaps or you can just use the toggle up here and create a plane that snaps to the endpoints of the previous plane that you had created. And the only thing you have to do now is uh, change the, or you have to delete the original plane. So I'm going to select the other plane Notice I have I have the new plane created. I want to select the other plane that's sitting right on top of it. And this is just like the, the problem that we had before. I just hold my cursor still and it's going to toggle from one object to the other. So I've got the plane selected right now and I want the rectangle selected. So I just hit it one more time without moving the cursor. And now my rectangle is selected and I can hit delete. Any questions so far? No? How do you so select the rectangle? Hold the cursor still and hold the cursor still and click without moving the cursor, just click and click and click. Okay, you good? So the rectangle is deleted and you have a plane. Now you could make the cut right now, but this is probably not going to be enough vertices either. It might be, but doing this a long time, this is probably not good. And in the grand scheme of things, what's an extra 40 or 50 polygons? Right now you've only got 16 polygons, 32 faces that make up this terrain object. Why not? be a little safer and make a, a little bit more, uh, make some more 
uh, vertices or polygons in this object. So to do it, go to the Modify panel and make your length and width segments 20 and 20. So all I did is I selected the, the plane, went to the Modify panel, and I gave the length and width segments 20 uh, for each one. Okay. Now you do the cut again, do the Boolean cut again, and you'll see it work just fine. Compound objects, Boolean, pick operand B, pick that operand, and now from top view, I will see a perfect cut 